Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with creating a desktop application using Python in Visual Studio 2022. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this video will guide you through the essential steps to set up your environment and create your first desktop app. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and please make sure you hit the like button as well. So let's get straight into it. So first, let's ensure you have Visual Studio 2022 installed with the necessary Python development workload. If you haven't installed Visual Studio yet, head over to the official Visual Studio website and download the installer. So once you do so, you open the installer, uh, click on the modify. Okay, so this workload side will be open. So make sure that you have this box checked. So this is a Python development. This is for editing, debugging, interactive development, and source control for Python. Okay. Once you've got this sorted out, head towards the python.org and make sure you install the, next, um, the latest Python. So once you've sorted all of that out, let's close the, um, the Visual Studio installer and open Visual Studio. So as you can see here now, I've got Visual Studio 2022 open. Yeah. So let's go ahead and create a new project. So here, let's select the language as Python. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of um, projects that we can use or we can get started with. But for this video, we're going to select Python application. So this is a project for creating a command line application, okay? That can, uh, that can target Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and click Next. So here you can configure your project details here, like the project name, the solution location and whatnot. Yeah, we're not gonna look too much into that. Yeah, but obviously you can change the project name if you want. So let's go ahead and click on create. So now let's write some Python code. So in the main Python file, you see a basic template. So let's modify to create a simple desktop so as you can see here now we've got python application.py here yeah? so let's open it as you can see you've got it opened here so let's go ahead and start writing our code yeah so first let's import this um this module t t enter and let's give it t i mean as t sorry TK. And then uh, let's set up the root. This will be equal to TK dot TK. Okay, so the next bit is let's set the title for, I mean, for the window. So dot title with the root dot title. So let's let's give it a desktop app, and then uh, let's set the background for the for the window. So we're going to make it is is gonna be root dot geometry. First of all, this is not the background here. This is the size of the window. So let's set the size of the window first. So let's make it six hundred. 600 by 400 pixel. Okay. So this will be the size, I mean, the size of the main window. Okay. So let's go ahead and set the uh, background color for the window. This is how we're going to do it. So it's root.configure. So this uh, the BG is equal to, so basically the BG for the background is equal to, let's make it light blue okay so let's go ahead and create a label start with this variable label and we're gonna it's gonna be tk dot label and this is what we're going to put inside so this label will be inside the root the root as the main window and then and the test. 
So the test will be Hello world. From Python desktop app. Okay. And then let's put let's put label let's pack it. So label dot pack. Okay. So as you can see here now it's it's very simple, it's not really complicated. So let's put um, let's get started. Or let's make root dot main loop. Okay, so this is all we have to get us started. So let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So as we can see here now, we've got our first um, desktop app created with uh, with Python. Yeah. So let's go ahead and add a button and some click events. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. So right after this bit here, let's let's um, initiate a variable called button. So this will be equal to tk dot button. So the the button will be inside the root, which is the main window, and the test test will be. Uh, let's put click me. So the command will be our click event. So command, this will be our click event. This is called to lambda. So this is what we're going to put. So we're going to change the, the test, the label test. So label.config. So here, uh, this is what we're going to put inside the label. Uh, we're going to change the test. So that this will be test equal to, uh, let's say button clicked, yeah? Then we can even set, uh, we can even set the background for the, for the button, but we're not gonna look too much. Okay, let's put something here, so the PG, will be equal to, uh, let's put red. So this basically set the, back, um, the, the, the background for the button to red, okay? Uh, let's put um, back, back button, the button pack. okay? So as you can see here now, it's not very complicated, so Let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So this is what we have here. So now let's click on the, on the button here. So as you can see here now, we've got the button. Once you click on the button, we've got uh, this, the test changed to button, button clicked. Okay. So as you can see here now, it's not very difficult to get us started. Yeah. So thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, subscribe for more programming tutorials. Happy coding. Have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.